Please welcome, 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 welcome to The Tonight Show, everybody. Thank you for being here. Let's get to some news. Uh, well, guys, today the CDC made a huge announcement about wearing masks. Watch this. The CDC now says that vaccinated Americans generally do not need to wear masks outside, as long as they're not in a large gathering. When people heard that, people on the street started flashing their mouths like it was Mardi Gras. Like, woo! <laughs> woo! <laughs> I gotta be honest, I'm gonna miss wearing a mask. Uh, the adult acne made me feel young, you know? <laughs> on the bright side, now we can finally stop weirdly opening our eyes to greet people on the street. Like... <laughs> That's right, the CDC updated its guidance on outdoor masking for both vaccinated and unvaccinated people. And they even released this helpful chart. Take a look at this. Yeah, I, I, I like to think the sketch artist at the CDC is like, I'll tell you again, I could do hair, ears, eyes, and mouth. I just don't do noses. I just don't. It's just not my thing. I mean, the two most important things about a. I'll do it for cheap. I'll do it for cheap. I just don't do it. <laughs> the chart ranks activities from safest to less safe to least safe. It's the same chart people use when deciding between Delta, United, and Spirit Airlines. Oh. <laughs> well, it's a big week for President Biden. Tomorrow he delivers his first joint address to Congress. Yep, everyone's looking forward to hearing Biden speak. Then at the last minute, they're going to call on Anthony Hopkins instead. It's always interesting to watch a presidential address. Uh, half the crowd cheers, half the crowd sits in silence. It's like a throwback to Harry and Meghan's wedding, don't you think? <laughs> wow. Yeah, Biden's address will be on all the major networks. Of course, on Telemundo, Biden will be dubbed in Spanish. And on Fox News, he'll be dubbed by a demon. I promise you, we'll come out stronger with a renewed faith in ourselves. Some tech news. After a long wait, Apple rolled out a new privacy feature that requires apps like Facebook to ask permission before tracking the activity on your iPhone. Yeah. So now you can relax at home in total privacy. Yes, total privacy. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, after years of infringing on our privacy, Apple was like, we're against collecting your data starting now. <laughs> Apple also uh, introduced new emojis, including face exhaling and face in clouds. Take a look. <laughs> Even the eggplant emoji is like, come on, we all know what this is supposed to be. This is... Ah. You gonna play this game? You gonna play this game? Okay. I saw that Guinness just debuted a new beer with nitro cold brew coffee in it. Ooh. Check it out. Yeah. It's the perfect gift for the sluggish drunk in your life. <laughs> it's a great product if you want your heart to feel like it's napping and skydiving at the same time. Yeah? <laughs> Should be fun walking around the office with a can of that, like, 9 a.m., time for another pick me up. <laughs> That's right, Guinness and coffee. Irish people call that baby formula. <laughs> and another unlikely pairing, Goldfish has teamed up with Frank's Red Hot for new limited edition spicy crackers. Here's a photo. Ooh. And normally I make a joke about these kind of food mashups, but I'm gonna level with you. This one sounds spectacular. <laughs> yeah, when it, right? When it comes to recent innovations, I put the COVID vaccine at one, this at one A. <laughs> To some, it sounds weird, but it's still better than Gerber Sriracha. That's what I was yeah. saying. Steve. Welcome back to yeah. Welcome back to the baby hot ones. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Hey, some good news for Dunkin' Donuts fans. They just announced they're adding coconut milk to the menu. Yep, they'll keep it on the table between the cream and the ashtray. <laughs> and if you order it legally, they're allowed to make fun of you. I got a large iced coffee for Prince Brandon, who's too good for cows. That's Brandon. B is in biatch. <laughs>
And finally, some news from overseas. I read that next month, a high-end apartment complex in London is opening up a see-through pool that sits 115 feet high. Look at this thing. Ooh. It's perfect, because when I think sunny rooftop pools, I think London. <laughs> you know someone's last words are going to be, Cannonball! Oh, yeah. Hey, Quest, welcome back, and congratulations, hey, buddy. Thank that you, That was man. fantastic. Quest Love. I like the it. musical director for the Academy Awards. Yeah. Uh, dude, you look great. You sounded great. What, 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 what was it like? Was it, were you, were you, was it weird? Was you, were it you was nervous? Fun. It was fun. I mean, that's the first time that I've been out um, anywhere since the last Oscars. So, wow. you know. But, you know, it was, it was, it was fun. It was, it was a little party, you know. Yeah. yeah we had fun. Like, but that, that opening where Regina grabbed the Oscar, what, that was, you were doing that? Was that... Oh, man, that was so hard. We had the perfectly timed... Right? Like... I was sweating for you, dude. I was like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, I, I didn't think she was going to make it, but uh, I kept extending it and looking at the end mark. And, <laughs> yeah. And then the biggest moment of the night, besides Daniel Kaluuya, but was uh, uh, Glenn Close. Yeah. Doing the butt. Who knew that she knew the, the butt? <laughs> no, I did not know. And but every, she's no, fun. Everyone asked, like, was that scripted? Was that... Like, really, we didn't prepare her. Like, she just... Yeah. We told her something's going to happen, but, you know, she's... Yeah, you never that. know what someone's going to do anything. Yeah. Of course, she's always game. Yeah. She's so much fun. When she, remember when she came on the show and we had a contest? How many baby carrots can we fit in our mouth? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what is going on? She was just so game. She's like, yeah, let's do it. Why that, not? That's like, how I knew she was game for this. Yeah, Absolutely. I love it. Anyways, uh, it was great, buddy. Congratulations. Thank uh, you. Thank it was you. Good uh, this is big. The, the Census Bureau just released their findings for 2020. And uh, according to the, the data, there are, this is some fun facts for you, 331 million people living in the United States. Ooh. Pretty interesting. Uh, in fact, there were a lot of uh, surprising results from the census here. Really? Yeah. Let me check out some of these. First up, uh, 489,000 people are named Jeff, but for no reasons no one can explain, spelled G-E-O-F. -F. Wow, not G 400. G -off. Yeah. 489,000, that's a lot. Are, look at this. 11 million people uh, think the Quaker Oats guy is a founding father. 11? I might be one of them. Yeah. Check out this next result. 7.5 million people don't know if reindeer are real and are afraid to ask. <laughs> but, but they answered the census, though. Yeah, of course. Yeah, they answered the Yeah, of course. Yeah, they're afraid to ask. That's a specific so. question. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. 3.5 million people believe Mount Rushmore is a natural rock formation that just happens to look like four presidents. <laughs> That's insane. That's crazy. That's impossible. Less than, more than Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, 20 million people uh, can't describe a goatee without using their hands. <laughs> it's like a... It's like a... That. Yeah. Uh, how about this one here? 750,000 people think Elon Musk is a cologne they sell at Walgreens. <laughs> I remember oh, wearing it in yeah. high school. That was Draco Noir. Yeah. And uh, finally, 165 million people literally can't even anymore. <laughs> I literally can't even. I learned a lot. Stick around. Hey.